Hi, this is Tim from Omnia and I'm here at my shared office space in London where I can receive a 5G signal on my 5G phone. And that's because we have the luxury of a 5G cell tower right next to our building here. So today what we're going to do is a test called water crystal photography. This is a way to observe the structure of water. It was invented by Dr. Masaru Emoto in Japan. Dr. Emoto proclaimed that every life form vibrates and when vibration travels through water, it leaves an energy imprint which can alter the structure of the water. So he devised a technique that would allow him to freeze the water and take photos to observe its geometric structure. He's quoted as saying, anything that is in tune with mother nature manifests as a beautiful hexagonal structure. Anything that isn't, doesn't. Hexagonal structure is also exactly like what you will see in a snowflake. The water is organizing itself into its perfectly balanced crystalline form. So in Dr. Emoto's words, good structure represents the life force of mother nature and the absence of water crystals from a sample therefore means that the life forces in that area have been compromised energetically. What he found from years of photography led him to believe that water is conscious. It's responsive to whatever energy field it is exposed to. And that's not a coincidence because so are we. We are responsive to all the energy fields that we are exposed to. Whether that be sunlight or smelling flowers, listening to good music or having a hug. These are all experiences where we respond vibrationally to energy fields that we interact with. And water does this too. What we're testing is whether water responds to 5G phone radiation with and without the Omnia radiation balancer patch attached to the phone. The water will vibrate in sympathy with the radiation field, but what will we see? We'll use this special distilled lab grade water because this water is so pure that no chemicals or minerals are in it, which often alter the structure of the water. And this means that the difference in energy signature left by the radiation should be very clear. So there will be three samples. Sample A is the baseline, where we do nothing to the water. Sample B will be exposed to 5G radiation, which is balanced by the orb. And for sample C, we'll remove the orb and irradiate the water with no protection. So let's get on with the test. Okay, so obviously we've got a baseline, which is a sample that we do nothing to, right? So we want to compare the irradiated samples to the baseline. So we're not going to do anything to this, but we're just going to label this sample A. We have to put this one in some tinfoil, because once you put it in tinfoil, then there can't be any energy signature that, that can get into this water. So we're just going to wrap it up now. So that's sample A, ready to go to the laboratory in Austria. So we're just going to show you how we set up 5G. So on this phone you go into settings, we've disabled Wi-Fi, uh, and then it says SIM and mobile networks. Go down here, you see preferred network type, it's on 4G at the moment. Now we're going to tap it onto 5G, uh, we're going to come out of that, um, and then we'll just wait for this to update. So the first test, we're going to put the orb on the phone. So this is my 5G phone, and I'm just going to place it up here like that. So that's now on the phone. And then what we do is we're going to take this pure distilled water and open it up, and then we're going to put it in this glass. So what we want to try and do is fill the glass right up to the top. like so, so it's right up to the top. So we want this phone to be as close as possible to this water. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is put the phone on top of the water. Uh, and now I'm gonna check a video out. So I'm gonna just push play on a video um, and that's gonna start now. And we've got 5G up there and, uh, and this is now streaming video and the reason why we do video is because when video when data video data comes into the phone that's the most uh, intense radiation field that a phone can process what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my emf meter which is here 
Uh, now normally the reading would be something quite low like 0 0.001 um, but right now we've got quite high readings um, and as we come closer to the phone we're going to see that this jumps up to 9.915 milliwatts per um, meter squared 13.5 Cool, so we've just done about seven minutes, just over seven minutes of video uh, on this phone uh, with the orb attached, irradiating this water. So um, I'm gonna stop the video and what we'll do is we will get the water and we'll pour it into back into the bottle here. So I'm just gonna pour that back in. Then we're going to label this sample B, like that. So now the Omnia sample, sample B, is ready to go. So now we've got sample C and I've already put the water in the glass right up to the top. Um, and the next test is going to be to irradiate that water with the phone without an orb on the phone. We're going to take the orb off the phone, so we're going to remove it. Uh, so this is now a non-protected phone receiving a 5G signal and we're going to put this on top of the phone, uh, top of the water um, and we're going to play some different YouTube movies. As the video data streams into the, uh, into the phone uh, on the radiation wave fields these things can go up and down and it just depends on what packets of data are being received into the phone. Um, so it can go quite high, 18. You know, I've seen this jump up to, you know, between 50 and 60. Um, so this is kind of like the mid-range. But really what we should be looking for is something like 0.01 as a setting uh, in a natural environment. But when you hold it next to a phone, it's, it's, it's 10 or 11 or 24. Okay, so we've finished. We've done about, well, just over seven minutes of video there um, with the phone without the ore patch on it. So here is sample C. Um, and what we have to do is we have to put it into back into the, into the glass bottle here. So that's sample C. So there you go, we've got sample C uh, ready to go. So that's A, B and C all ready to go off to the laboratory in Austria. And then we'll wait to see what we get back from them. So I'm excited to say that we've had the results back from the lab in Austria and we can now go through them. So let's have a look. But just before we do, we're going to say a quick word about why we normally see six spokes or points in the crystals of structured water. Dr. Lukisevich, who invented the orb, has written a paper about the correct molecular structure for water, which he demonstrates is actually H12O6 rather than H2O. So if we're going to draw that, it would look like this. Each oxygen atom is surrounded by a triangle of hydrogen atoms, and this combines to form a structure with a hexagonal shape comprising 12 hydrogen and 6 oxygen atoms. We see this geometry mirrored in the snowflake pattern with six outer points or spokes and we see it in the hexagonal structure in the middle. This is a massive topic and we'll do another video about this to explain it but for now remember that shape because that structure is what we're looking for in the photos. So here is a grid of all our results on one page. What we're looking for is a clear difference between the ranges of samples between A, the baseline on the top row, sample B, which is exposure to a 5G field with the Omnia radiation balancer on the phone, and sample C, which is the same test with no orb on the phone. Straight away from a distance, you can see some clear differences. So let's dive in and take a closer look. In the baseline sample, which is pure distilled water, we can see some trends which are relatively clear. 
In this one, there are some spokes and suggestions of a hexagon at the center. Same as this one, we see crystals forming around the hexagonal center. This is a clear one in terms of crystals and spokes, and this last one has many crystals forming around a hexagonal center. So altogether, in the baseline, we have trends of crystals forming, hexagonal structure in the center. We don't see perfect geometry or organization, but there are some balanced shapes that emerge and are formed. In sample B, which is the water exposed to 5G radiation that has been balanced by the orb, we immediately see a clear hexagon and six spokes. One of them is split. This is probably the best one where we can clearly see the geometry in the center and the six spokes, and it's really nicely balanced. This one is more blurred out, but where there is definition, we can see spokes, crystals, and the hexagon. And it's the same in this one. We see some really clear crystalline structure, although it's not organized into the perfect snowflake, but that could just be limitations of the photography too. And looking at them all together, we can clearly see trends towards crystals, the six spokes, and the hexagonal center. These are good signs of life force in the water. And finally, we have sample C. This is the water irradiated with no orb. And straight away, we can see that there's no structure at all in this sample. It looks like it's been broken somehow. This one is the same. It shows that the water molecule is not being held together at all. This one looks like it's been beaten up or hammered out of shape too. And this one perhaps is the only one that shows any vague signs of structure, but it's not convincing at all. It's scattered and distressed. So as we look at all of the sample C photos together, there is no organization, there's no structure, no crystals, no spokes, and nothing that suggests vibrancy or life force. Compared to the other samples, the water looks dead. If we look at them all again, sample B seems to be showing the most crystals. Although it's not perfect like some of Dr. Emoto's previous experiments, there is definition present which is very similar to the perfect hexagonal structure. And if we compare the two samples which were exposed to 5G radiation, they are showing us that there is a clear difference in the quality of the vibration that they were exposed to, based on whether the radiation field was balanced by the orb, as in sample B, or not, as in sample C. Remember, we are demonstrating that water which is exposed to a balanced vibrating energy field will show balance and structure in the photo but an energy field that is not balanced will cause imbalanced effects in the water. Consider that your body is mostly water and your body is also exposed to wireless radiation all day. When this happens, you want the water content of your body to be vibrating in resonance and in harmony with the energy in the radiation field. Now, just to be clear, this is an observational test. So we're going to tell you our conclusions and you can make up your own mind whether you agree. In sample A, we saw that there was good crystalline structure because that was super pure distilled lab grade water. But what we're interested in is what we saw in sample B and sample C. We've drawn the following conclusions from this test. In sample B, the water responded favorably when it was exposed to the radiation field that was balanced by the orb. The water felt the vibration of the balanced radiation and it organized itself into crystalline hexagonal structure. This is what we call resonance. It actually looked like a snowflake. And according to Dr. Emoto, this constitutes life force in the water. This is good news for your body because the body is between 72 and 90% water. In sample C, there was no clear structure to the water. It was chaotic. The water was disorganized and showed no energetic vitality or life force. We can't say that this is bad, but compared to sample B, it's definitely less desirable. So our conclusion is that the water liked the vibration of the 5G radiation field that was balanced and centered by the orb. And this ties in with our science, which promises to bring the radiation field into harmony with the water and therefore with the human body. You can find the science behind how the orb balances any radiation field, even 5G, on our website here, where you can also see all our other test results. And of course, you can purchase the Omnia Radiation Balancer too. So what did you think of this test? Send us your comments, please. Thanks for watching, and we hope you found this interesting. Lots of love.